In a development in the Mar-a-Lago documents case, a federal appeals court says the Justice Department now can resume using the classified documents seized from former President Donald Trump's Florida estate in its criminal investigation. The DOJ had appealed a ruling from earlier this month by Trump-appointed U.S. District Judge Eileen Cannon. She had temporarily barred the department from reviewing and using the seized materials for investigative purposes. The ruling late yesterday came from a three-judge panel of the U.S. Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit comprised of two Trump appointees and one Obama appointee. The panel thoroughly rejected Trump's position on the classified documents and parts of Judge Cannon's reasoning for issuing her original order, specifically that her order would not get in the way of the Office of the Director of National Intelligence Risk Assessment. The appeals court noted Trump had presented no evidence he had declassified the sensitive records and rejected the possibility that Trump could have had a, quote, individual interest in or need for the roughly 100 documents with classification markings that were seized by the FBI in its August 8th search of the Palm Beach property. The decision now clears the way for the Justice Department investigators to continue scrutinizing those documents as they consider whether to bring criminal charges over the storage of top secret records at Mar-a-Lago after Trump left the White House. Andrew Weissman, I, this I think I've heard you say, and, and most other legal analysts say, this ended up probably in the right place with a little slowdown from Judge Cannon there. Uh, what do you make of that ruling yesterday? If you step back and think about what happened here, Donald Trump, by bringing this lawsuit, is worse off uh, than he was uh, before he brought this lawsuit. So two things happened. When he brought this lawsuit, it allowed the Department of Justice to lay out with the specifics of why Donald Trump was uh, had stolen documents, why he had lied about them, why they engaged in a search warrant, because he, what they weren't getting the documents through a voluntary process or even a grand jury subpoena, which is not a request, it is a legal demand. So mm -hmm. that was misstep number one. And now in one day, you have the 11th Circuit with the majority of the panel being appointed by judges, uh, uh, appointed by Donald Trump, ruling in every single way, as you said, a thorough opinion, and they go through chapter and verse against Judge Cannon and finding that Donald Trump, among other things, had no possessory interest in these documents. They're not his. So that is just a, a another really bad development. It is a good development for the rule of law. Uh, the opinion is absolutely bulletproof uh, in reversing Judge Cannon.